Hi. I have started the recording with my camera and since I will probably start a new series which is called Introvert to Extrovert which is pretty much describing a series of me like showing you people how I personally transformed from introvert to extrovert. Nat naturally there are also naturally open people and people who are shy or anything but it is a different if you want to talk to people and you just don't have the balls to do anything like you don't have the balls to approach anyone or talk to the girl or talk to this guy or this girl or this woman or this man and if you personally want to change that it is very welcome but in my story it is not about you as egoistic as this as this sounds but this story is about me and since I am not at the very 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 beginning of my story like I'm not very 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 introverted I will have to start in the middle and in order to do that I will have to explain the entire prologue or everything that was in the previous time of my journey in a story this would normally be called like the setting or like the prologue like you would establish the setting and then you would be able to talk then you would be able to know the just make just just tell a story and sometimes you also tell the story along but I will try to make it compact like I won't tell you I won't tell you anything but I will try to make it compact and so you at least understand what is my motive where I come from and what I'm what I'm doing like with the series so the series started I would say about like one or one and a half years ago or like two years ago so I wasn't that popular in school and to be honest I was the shy and silent kid but I was like imagine myself as the, like very confident guy but the re reality was very very sad like I wasn't able to speak I had stutter disorder like I wasn't able to speak my own mind and when I get angry when I got excited when I got like I had any emotional state I wouldn't be able to speak what I thought I wanted to speak and so the real transformation was I guess probably like in ten, like a 10th grade or anything where I got like a really really close and small group of friends I wouldn't say it was like a big circle of friends like like everyone has the big circle of friends but you only have a few couple really good friends like the other people are just like acquaintances which you kind of get to know like I had the real I, I, I had the opportunity to meet and do something and do a lot with a few a small circle of friends like it wasn't only one friend because in my case I was friends with the popular kid in class and he was kind of friends with everyone and I was kind of friends with him but it was kind of a problem because he had other friends than me so so, so to speak of and the circle of friends that I had like we did most of the, most of the stuff together like we went swimming we went bathing like we went hiking we chilled we listened to music we talked about stuff we watched this we watched like the stars we watched the night stars it was summer it was only one summer I think and then uh, two of the people fell in love and then in the end the entire circle like went to shit it just it just it just it just, it just went downhill from that onwards but that was the it was the fundament it was the basic thing and at that time I didn't really well at that time like I, I already started talking to a few different people like I talked to a man on trains I did small talk and on every single step in every single small talk situation I was excited like I was like Ugh. and sometimes I wanted to do it but I didn't have the balls to do it and sometimes I was able to do it and then I felt way more happier it reached a point like right now I'm able to talk to every single male counterpart 
like it's it's easy i mean it's like you 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 have your sets you can talk whatever you want it's easy like i don't, I don't like i don't really i don't think it's that hard to talk to a male like to talk to any male but i've never ever talked to female ones which became a huge problem since i'm well since i since I, well to be honest i'm a teenager teenager okay and I think that not knowing that many females outside your friend circle or outside your family isn't healthy for you. So what did I do? Like I wanted to talk to girls, but I didn't know how. And I had the fortunate thing that the friend of mine, which was also in the circle, he was a fan of Seek Discomfort. Of it was it was the model or it was the huge huge thing of yes siri like they did crazy stuff which is absolutely amazing and which is absolutely amazing stuff and he kind of dragged me along and then he also told me what he wanted to do like he also wanted to talk to girls because he was also kind of a shy kid but in my eyes he was like like the normal kid like he was tall he was he's really tall he looked European and I mean he, he he looked completely nice but he still had problems with girls which I couldn't understand but in the end we just we just walked around in, in the next big city and we just kind of started to do shit like we started to talk to girls like we started to uh, like we, we started to learn flirt okay it was mostly basically shit but we but we got a couple of nice really really nice talks and in the end we well, at least I can, and we both realized that girls are only human as well. But the problem in this matter, in fact, is that, yeah, this realization is like, ugh, you really need a big brain for that, man. And I do think everyone has a big brain. And the fact is that we just realized that the females are humans as well, which is, ugh. But the problem is that we kind of, in the past, we penalized themselves, like we raised them up a little bit just because they were females, which is a completely worse scenario that you have to treat everyone like shit. It's the best way to go. But that, but that, but that, but that aside, in the end, we just we exchanged numbers, like we we did we did tons of like we did tons of shittiest stuff, like well, it was not assholey stuff, but it was just like yeah, we were nice, we were kind, and we began to realize this shit doesn't work so we began like different techniques like we began to learn techniques but in the end we still realized the most basic stuff is like you just go in and you just talk and in most cases we wouldn't be able to talk like it was just like oh and you don't have the balls like in most cases I didn't even ha have had the balls to just approach anyone especially if it was a cute girl and just say hi like in most cases it was so easy I just I would just go in and say hi I just wanted to say come hi I just wanted to say hi to you and then I would have a valid reason in order to approach a girl well it, it isn't the best reason but at least like having something is better than nothing and in most cases I would have like I would even do that so I started approaching people like I was always so I was always searching for people who would make me uncomfortable, which I wouldn't even have to bore or I wouldn't have the guts to go to them and say hi. In most cases, this time right now, it would be cute girls, and I was just like wandering around, I was like staring. Ugh, it's so frustrating. And this this series is pretty much uh, I would say video log. Like a log is something where you just record information. From your life, or well, you you record information from a specific thing, and this time I would do a video log about me approaching people, and this book here, this green book, I record every single encounter or every single encounter I initiate, and about the topic, it's it may sound. It may sound like uh, creepy, but in the end, I just wrote everything down in order to remember it and in order to cheer me up. Like there, are, there are a few moments when I just think, "Oh, I'm such a weakling. I'm such a fucking pathetic and useless and frightening guy," and I'm such a useless man. It's like, like the spirit is completely down. But then I watched this book, and 
you just count the amount of people you just approach. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be like a significant uh, talk. It could. It could also be just like, hey, how 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 are you? What are you? What? How how is it going? And in most cases, I would approach people which I would never ever approach before. I would never have dared to approach for no apparent reason. But that's it. Well, well, the sh well, the short. Well, that's the reason why I'm doing this series. It is a series about me logging v uh, it's a me it's, it's it's about me logging every single encounter I have, just talking about the stuff that I did very, very shittily, how how it has been and I would also probably like just 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 describe the feeling of like feeling excited just at, at that moment. It's like an undescribable feeling. Undescribable feeling. So I thank you for watching. If you haven't watched it, it's also completely fine. I mean, it it isn't anything great. It's just a prologue. It's just the beginning of a new series. So I wish you a great day. I have no idea whether you enjoyed it or not, but just just tell me down below whether or not you had similar experiences. Maybe maybe you were you were also an introvert and wanted to change it, but you didn't dare. And like like in most people cases. They were introverts and they grow older and they had the regrets of not being more open and more social in their youth, in their youth, youth, youth. So I kind of don't want to have that re regret, so I'm doing this series. I'm probably able to meet tons of people and it's probably gonna be a very, very exciting time for me. I thank you for watching. Have a great time, have a great day, until the next video. I will try to not only do these logs or these talking stuff, I will also do like short movies about how is the feeling, like what, what do you have to do, like the people, like the things you have to you have to see upon yourself. But I will also not like do every do a vlog every single day. It, it will probably be weekly. So I thank you for watching, have a great time and see you next time. Bye.